Hello and welcome to your second vlog of the week. Um, this is present day me introducing this video because obviously during the week I just filmed continuously because I didn't have the intention of splitting it up. Um, so there's not actually a proper introduction for this uh, second vlog. Um, unfortunately, it's not very high production either. I don't, I didn't have the time this week to do like full on like with cutaways and like you know how I can used to do my weekend outfits where I'd like stand back from the camera and do it all that way so it is just going to be me short and snappy in the mirror just talking you through my outfit um but hopefully you can still enjoy it nonetheless so without further ado here is this week's weekend outfits hello hello it is Monday the start of a brand new week and this week I'm going to document everything I'm wearing starting from today all the way through until Friday. Um, today I'm going to London and if I'm honest I think I might have made a slight error by wearing an all-white outfit today. Uh, a whole day of traveling around London in all white, eh, probably not my wisest decision. However, it's really sunny outside and I'm embracing that, embracing the good weather by wearing all white. So from top to bottom I've got a new vest today um, this is from American Vintage. Sorry, the exposure just went really bright. But I found it through Zalando. I found it on sale. I think it was about £32.50. So potentially it could be sold out by the time this video goes live. But I will link it if it is uh, still in stock. But it's a knitted, uh, ribbed, cropped, loose tank. Just like a really good basic that... I don't have in my wardrobe. I've got plenty of just regular tanks, you know, tight ones that you tuck in, but nothing sort of loose and cropped like this. And I love it. I love, it's like the perfect crop. It just starts, um, stops where my trousers, where a lot of my trousers finish. It kind of hits the belly button, which is perfect. And yeah, just a really, really nice basic. It's kind of off-white. You can see against my jeans, it's got a slightly warmer tone to it. Very soft, very comfortable. Uh, belt is Margaret Howell. I'm pretty sure this is still in stock. It's current season. And then my jeans are the Ruth jeans from Studio Nicholson. Now, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with these jeans. I've got them in two colours. I've got the blue and I've got the white. <laughs> the blue I wear all the time. I absolutely love them. However, the white I don't wear so much because they're really stiff and they're really starchy and I'm really struggling to get them to soften up no matter how much I kind of wear them in and like sort of like move around in them they just don't seem to want to soften up and I feel like this is a just this is just a thing with white denim um any white denim that I've purchased has always felt a lot stiffer and uh starchier than blue denim so it's definitely a thing but these are really stiff and this is going to sound really weird and pedantic because I know that denim is meant to look worn in. However, these jeans crease really easily and my blue ones don't crease as easily as these ones. But it's not even in like a nice way, it just sort of looks really messy. Um, I could literally just do this and then they would just crease immediately. Um, am I just being really silly about them? Can, like, do you see what I mean? It just... I don't know. So yeah, love-hate relationship at the moment. I've, I'm loving them. I've just put them on and I'm like, yeah, they look great with this outfit. But by the end of the day, when I've been sat on a train for four hours and they're all creased and just looking like a completely different pair of jeans, it'd probably be a different story. Um, shoes are the row Gaia Fisherman sandals. I never know what their actual name is. These are the like the first reissue, so they're slightly different to the black ones that are current season. And um, they've got a different kind of like uh, woven pattern on the front. I put these on the other day, and I was just thinking how much I love them. They are now. I think I've almost had them for three years now, and I've had no issues with them whatsoever i haven't had any discomfort no blisters there's been no cracking on the leather the soles haven't worn or anything like that they still look pretty much the same as they did when they came out of the box when i bought them um all that time ago so i'm very 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 impressed with these i mean for the price you'd want to be impressed but i was just thinking the other day how good they were and how much i still loved them and just how how glad i am that i bought them um so that is me for today i think because i've got black accessories on i will probably just put a black crossbody bag on 
I feel very coordinated today. I think it's because my belt and shoes pretty much match perfectly. So, I was gonna say today's Tuesday, but I really don't need to be saying what day it is at the beginning of each of these clips, do I? So, from top to bottom, I'm wearing a navy cardigan from Studio Nicholson. This is quite old, this is probably about five years old now. It was one of my first Studio Nicholson purchases back when I first discovered the brand. A very classic navy cardigan, it's got nice slim sleeves, a loose body, um, it's a wool cashmere blend, but it's quite thin. So it's very good for this in-between weather when it's a bit grey, it's like 15 degrees. I like that the buttons come up quite high so I don't have that fear of like flashing anyone when I lean over. I also really appreciate that the buttons are navy. So I'm not a huge fan of buttons being a different colour on just on anything really, but especially on cardigans. I'm not massively into like those brown wooden buttons that you often find on cardigans. I think it's because I don't like buttons to be a feature. I kind of want them to just sort of blend in with the cardigan. It's not that I hate buttons being a different colour, I just would prefer them to be the same colour as the knitwear. So I really appreciate this small detail. Um, belt is from Margaret Howe. This is actually the same belt that I wore yesterday, but in brown. So yes, I do have the same belt in two colours, but that is because when I first saw this belt on the Margaret Howe website, I was like, that, that's a keeper. That's like a forever belt. That is a real classic belt that's just going to get better with age. It's never going to date. Um, it's got a really nice uh, roller buckle. I quite like that. So I decided to buy it in black and brown because I thought I'm going to get loads of use out of both colours. Um, trousers are from LFM. I think I showed these last week. I'm pretty sure I have featured these trousers quite a lot because I do tend to wear them. Um, they are a wool blend, but they're not like felted wool. Like they don't feel like my cardigan. They're kind of like, do you know what? I'm gonna change the camera angle here and try and show you the texture of them. They're almost, they're not quite a seersucker, but they're very similar to a seersucker. They've got that sort of texture, um, which, is, which is very nice. Just a kind of point of difference, I guess. They've got double pleats, so they're really nice and baggy. And the great thing about these is I didn't have to get them tailored. They were the perfect length when they arrived. And then my shoes are from La Mer. Some of you might remember these from, when um, I got them when I did a Farfetch collaboration. Sadly, they didn't get much wear because of, surprise, surprise, the weather. Um, but now they're finally getting some wear and do you know what? For the most part, they've actually been really comfortable. I've not had any, like, there's not been any rubbing across the front here. There's been no issues on this area. The only issue is, and I'm actually gonna have to take the shoe off to illustrate this to you, is that, can you see, I'll do this. Can you see that lip on the back there? That is a little bit annoying because when you're walking and your, your heel lifts up and down, it gets caught on the back of that. Also, when I put, the shoe on, kind of have to, you kind of have to like really wriggle your foot in and then almost untuck it from underneath your heel. That would be my only negative piece of feedback for the shoes. And then because I'm going into the studio today, um, it will just be a tote bag with my stuff in. I'll just do like a nice pan so you can kind of see the details a bit more. Hello, I just thought I'd show you my outfit before I um, go to the studio. I'm feeling really low energy this morning. I think it's hormonal. I slept in way longer than I usually do. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's hormones. I always get like this in the days leading up to my period. So yeah, my, my feelings today are just, ugh. I, I feel like I have zero energy. So when I eventually peeled myself out of bed this morning, I just wanted to put on something very casual comfortable, relaxed, I didn't really have to think about. So I scraped my hair back into a bun because I couldn't even, I just couldn't be bothered. That's my attitude today in terms of getting ready and presenting myself. I cannot be bothered. Um, anyway, jumper it, is navy. Um, it probably is showing up as black, but I can assure you it's navy. It's a Uniqlo men's just 
plain crew neck sweater. This is the size, this is extra, extra small. And as you can see, there is quite a lot of room in it. It is a very roomy jumper. Then my bag is from the row, it is the banana bag. I think I showed this bag in passing last week, but I didn't really talk about it. It is a new addition to my uh, handbag collection. It has been on my wish list for a very, very long time. And I have tried to fill the void and the want for this bag with bags of a similar nature, but unfortunately I just couldn't get this one out of my head. I think it was released a couple of years ago and then once it sold out, they didn't re-release it. So it actually became a really difficult to find bag. Um, I've had a notification on like a, an alert set up on Vestia Collective for well over a year for this bag, but just couldn't find someone selling it locally. Found lots of uh, US sellers, but just can't deal with the customs that um, Vestia uh, plonk on top of it and the shipping fee. So um, about three weeks ago through a different consignment store called Sourceware, I found it uh, from someone in London. So super, super close. Um, and I'm absolutely in love. Practically perfect condition. Did Could not see a single scratch in it. I don't even think the seller had used it. There was not even a mark inside. And the inside is... Um, sort of it's like suede so yeah there was no marks in there whatsoever um the row however this week have just announced that this bag is going to be re-released and it's now available for, uh, available for pre-order so if you have also had your eye on this bag and haven't managed to source it you can buy it brand new now if you do so desire um it comes in two sizes by the way i'm wearing the small size the the most common question when I featured this bag is, what size is it? It's a small size. I love, love, love the big size, but I just wonder if it'd be a bit too big for me. Um, the big size has a slightly different strap. It's almost got like a sort of canvas style, almost like a guitar style strap in black. It's beautiful. But I think on my five foot three frame, it might be a little bit too big. Um, I'm not sure. But I, I love this size on my frame. Um, I might just actually get a another hole punched in at the top here so I can wear it slightly higher. Um, and then trousers are, these are about three years old. They're Isabel Maron, they're like a balloon shaped chino. I got them on sale, um, yeah, possibly three, three, four years ago now. And they're just so good. They're really lightweight. I love the shape of them. They're super high waisted as well. So in the summer or when it's warm, because technically we are in summer now, believe it or not, they, they look really cool with like a, just like a tank top tucked in. And then my shoes are Studio Nicholson Moonstar trainers. And my tote bag full of like umbrella, water bottle and all that kind of thing is Philippa K. And that is me for today. It's almost the end of the week, uh, which excites me greatly because this weekend it's meant to be really hot and that can mean one thing and one thing only, barbecue weather. Ah, finally. Um, anyway, today's outfit, as you can see, I've got a new cardigan on. It's from Monica Cordera. Um, I was gonna say it's camel, but actually I think it's lighter than camel. It's more of a sort of OT beige color, but it is slightly warm toned. It's got really nice ribbed detailing down the front, on the pockets, along the bottom and on the sleeves. It's got a really nice heavy weight to it, a really nice sort of slouch. Um, quite a boxy shape that slightly curves in at the bottom as you can see. I'll just show you from the side where it kind of hits me. Kind of, the hem is quite, like it kind of dips down and then goes back up again. It might just be because I'm not, because I've pulled it down at the front. Um, but you can see it sort of hits me mid bum, which I'm very thankful for because most cardigans do tend to hit me about here. And um, so I feel like this is quite good for my short, frame. Uh, trousers are these really high-waisted balloon leg chinos from Isabel Moron. I got these about three years ago I think now. I got them on sale as well and they've been one of my best sale purchases definitely every summer. Bring them back out because they're really lightweight, just really nice and crisp. I like the balloon shape to them. When it's really warm because they're quite high-waisted or well they're very high-waisted they my belly button's like there. <laughs> They look really, really nice with like a cropped tank top or a really slim tank or cami tucked in because they've got that really big balloon shape to them that is balanced out really nicely with a tight uh, cami. So actually normally the, like the balance here I think is a little bit off, um, but I, I kind of like it. I like how relaxed 
these two shapes together, look and feel. And then on my feet, I've got the Jill Sander Birkenstock collab oh, sorry, tongue -tied up there. collaboration sandal, uh, the Milano style. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I really didn't like these sandals at first and I fully intended on returning them um, because I wasn't impressed with just the general fit of them. I thought they looked a bit weird. I was just a bit like, mm, this wasn't what I was expecting. And then I just loved the way they looked off the foot. And then when I put them on the foot, I was like, they're just, something's not right. Um, they're definitely not gonna be for everyone. They're very wide, they're very chunky. They're very, I guess, ugly, let's be honest. But after a styling session, a classic Brittany styling session where I tried them on with loads of different trousers, I was like, actually, I'm really beginning to like them and they just grew on me loads. So I've decided to keep them. Um, this is their second outing and so far they've actually been really comfortable, which is what I'd expect from Birkenstock, to be honest. I wouldn't, I'd, if the Birkenstock was uncomfortable, I'd be a bit worried. Um, and then bag is going to be the row banana bag again. So super relaxed today. So I'm trying to lift. <laughs> there we go. Super relaxed, very slouchy. Not definitely not going to be for everyone because um, everything's just quite oversized and and not particularly flattering. But I feel very comfortable and I quite like the. I was going to say the colour palette I've got going on here, but it's not really that colourful, is it? Why is it, as soon as the sun comes out, I just decide to wear really dark colours? Does anyone else do this? I, I don't know why, it's just like... It is a thing, because I always do it with dresses. Like, as soon as it's sunny, I'll just like put on a black dress, black shoes, black shades, black bag. But then when it's grey, I went... I don't know. Anyway, today's outfit is actually navy. It's not all black, um, although it will look, probably will look black. Maybe it always does show up as black on this camera. Um, finally getting some wear out of the ribbed vest. Do you remember um, earlier on in the year, I did that project with Cos and I then raved about this vest um, and then pretty much spring and summer just ceased to exist. So I didn't really get to wear it much. Finally, um, getting some wear out of it. It's just a really um, like chunky ribbed vest. I don't know if they still do it. I hope they do because it's it's a really good vest. I've, I've spoken about it before about how much I love the the cut of it, how I feel like it's quite flattering across this sort of section here and really nicely sort of covers up that that weird bit of your armpit that can sometimes look a bit, you know, dodgy if it kind of gets all, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and then on my, I've got a full cos look on today actually. Um, trousers are these linen, I think they're linen, they're linen. Well, they're a linen cotton blend. They feel like they're a blend. They don't feel like 100% linen. Let me just double check. I'm gonna take them off and check the composition. Yeah, I was correct, 50%, uh, like 50-50 linen cotton. Um, so they're not quite as, thin as uh, linen normally is, but I'm sure they will crease just as bad as linen does. Um, but they're just really quite standard, uh, single pleat, uh, kind of taper, kind of taper a little bit. No, actually they're more of a true straight leg. I think these run quite large. I'm normally a true 34 in cos, but these are quite loose. However, I quite like that. I'm not saying that I'm into the low-waisted look. I'm definitely not a low-waisted convert just yet. I'm much more of a high-waisted kind of gal. But I do sometimes quite like how wearing a pair of trousers like slightly lower down on the hips looks. Um, kind of that slightly loose, I guess a little bit of masculine tailoring kind of uh, look to it. Um, and they're kind of an awkward length as well. I was like, oh, just should I get them tailored or not? But actually I kind of like that they just hit my sandals. I've got the Jill Sander uh, Birkenstocks on again. And then for my bag, I, I'm just going out for lunch, so I don't need to carry much. So I was thinking I was going to wear this Cos bag. Um, Cause I quite like how high up that is. That reminds me when I go out for lunch, I'm gonna take my row banana bag out today and get a hole punched in it. 
so that I can wear it slightly higher up. Or I'm thinking, oh, where's it gone? Hold on, hold on. Oh, <laughs> he fell over. The St. Agni tote. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I like that this means I'm completely hands free. So I might actually go for this. Um, and I really like the way navy and black look together. I know lots of people think it's a bit of a bit of a faux pas, don't they? It's not. It's a bit sort of frowned upon. Well, not frowned upon, but you know, it's not really uh, favoured. That's maybe what I was trying to say. But I actually really like black and navy together. So that is today's look. And there we have it, the end of this week's vlog. It was a very short and snappy one, wasn't it? But I hope you enjoyed seeing some more sort of fashion and outfit focused content. I know it's been a while. And I know I said it at the beginning, but I just want to say again how gutted I was that I didn't really have time to make this into a slightly higher produced week in outfits video, like the ones I used to do that were a lot more visually smooth and appealing, shall we say. I know filming into a mirror is very easy, but it is also quite motion sickness inducing as a viewer. And um, it's a lot for the eyes, isn't it? There's a lot of going up and down. But I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that it gave some of you some outfit inspiration, hopefully, uh, potentially. Jesus, how many times am I going to say hopefully? Uh, <laughs> anyway, I have absolutely no plan for next week's vlog. I've got no theme or any talking points lined up. So it could be one of those weeks where it's a bit of everything or I might think of something. I'm not 100% sure just yet. But until then, I hope you have a great weekend and a great week ahead. Um, and I shall see you in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching.